My belly. Not yours. I'm pregnant. Blog to follow. Maybe I pee on it too much. Oh, this is gross. I made mean, Ada. Give me the needle in the ass. Leave me my blood. Eventually, this will be how I talk in my blogs. Eventually, it'll be all like this. When you get out, you can have all the chicken you want. I predict baby. But you have a 50 50 chance of being right. Wait, does that mean I can be wrong too? There will be more pregnancy blogs. They're just not there for your masturbatory aids. Okay? And to confirm that my little girl hasn't grown any, you know, twigs and berries, pregnancy is intense. Ne touchy. Ne touche pas. Uh-uh. Nine. My belly. These are honest to God questions I've been asked. You may go, oh my God, what were they thinking? David and I have actually considered making cards, like pieces of paper. As soon as someone asks a question, just pass them the card and keep going. Just read the pamphlet. I've been answering these questions for the past, like, seven months. I got two more to go. And I'm just tired of talking to people I don't know about whether or not I'm breastfeeding. Before I give you the question, stop it with the you're too small, you're too big. Oh my god, you're seven months, you don't look it. You're too small, what are you trying to be thin? You're gonna kill the baby. Being a little dangerous. The knife, you, on it. I'm not trying to be thin. Yes, I've lost a significant amount of weight since I was pregnant. Not my fault. She's eating me alive. That's what babies do. Oh my god! Is there two? You're way too big. Oh, you must be gaining it fast. If it wasn't for this, my pants wouldn't stay up anymore. Because my ass is falling off. Every pregnancy is different. And I am as pregnant as I should be. <laughs> so just... Ugh. Do you have any stretch marks? Oh, oh yeah. On my anus. Want to see? Do you still have your belly button ring? Are you getting hairy? Do you have the brown line? Has your belly button popped? How's your tattoo? I say, you get pimples on your ass? And when they say, uh, how is that relevant? Or any of your business? Same question back at you. And if they don't take no for an answer, none of your f business. Jeez, I don't even know my own name anymore, but I know what I'm doing. You're normal. It's just because everybody wants to know. When are you due? June 10th. Not soon enough. Why do you say you have seven to ten weeks left? I consider it a jail sentence. I have seven to ten weeks left. You said her. Do you know it's a girl? Yes. Oh, she could be a boy. I mean, are you sure? We had a 3D ultrasound. Here's a mirror. Go to the bathroom. Stick it between your legs and tell me if you're sure what you are. Then we'll talk. Why would you want to find out her gender? Didn't you want to be surprised? That's just a stupid question. If we wanted to be surprised, we wouldn't have found out the gender, so... I don't even know why you're asking me that. And, uh, we found out because we wanted to find out. This, this is, a, this, is this really a question? Are you going to breastfeed? No, I, I, th I thought we'd let her forage for herself, you know, just kind of throw her out there and be like, go find some berries and, you know, feed yourself, bitch. Was she planned? <laughs> oh, whoa, that's not your business. We didn't accidentally not use condoms. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, were you planned or were you a boo-boo? Did you want a girl or a boy? We wanted a girl. We were hoping for a baby. We got a goat. You're hoping for a girl. What, would you not have loved her if she was a boy? No, no, we, we see, we had it figured out. If it was a boy, we were going to sell it to the gypsies. Yeah. No! What kind of question is that? Sick. Sick. Yeah. What is it? Sick. So you know what's a girl? It's because you did the ring over the belly test and it said girl, isn't it? No, you see, we paid $300 and had two ultrasounds that were in 3D and took pictures of my little girl's parts, you see. Although the ring test, totally reliable. Absolutely 100% accurate. Yeah, because when I hover it over your head, it tells me you're an idiot. How are you feeling? Same as yesterday, only bigger. Are you still a vegetarian? Yeah. Well, I did convert to cannibalism, and you're looking pretty good right now, and, you know, I'm kind of craving. The baby's not getting its nutrients because you're a vegetarian. Um, you should totally be eating meat. Don't you even care? The baby is getting its nutrients. You know, you visit a doctor every second week. They're paid a lot of money to tell me that my diet's fine. Go pound sand. 
Are you going to force the baby to be a vegetarian? No, I, I told you already. We're going to let her forage. We figure if she eats the grass, it saves us in groceries, and we don't have to mow the lawn. Do you have her name picked out? Oh yeah, we've had her name picked out since we were nine weeks pregnant. She's going to be Genevieve, Odessa, Benoff. It can also be Genevieve. Well, we had some names picked out, but we couldn't really decide on one. Maybe you can help me. We were thinking Hitler, Elvis, Cletus. I know they're not really girl names, but they're pretty cool. Her initials, spell God. Really? G-O-D. Huh. What? David, did you know her baby's name spells God? That's what I said. No idea. Completely. Thank you. Wow. That's cool. I know how to spell three-letter words. This is why I'm smart. This is why I'm smart. Don't you think that's a bit blasphemous, though? Okay. Two people. Not married. Having a baby. Do you think I really give a damn? What are you thinking? Having a baby in this world today. I was feeling a bit randy. You're giving the baby his last name, but you guys aren't married. No, we're not married. That's why she's getting the last name and not me. Did I do that wrong? No. Yeah, we're not married. So I keep my name and she gets daddy's name. How much weight have you gained? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, I mean, I gained some, but I still weighed less than your fat ass. Are you trying to be thin? Yeah, I, I, I thought that pregnancy would be a really good idea. I mean, look! Look at how great I look! Aren't I hot? Like, oh, I can't wait till bikini season and I'm just gonna be like, yeah! Whoa! You're still pregnant? No, 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 pregnancy. Oh, you didn't get the note. No, 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 that was a joke. I was just playing around. No, I'm just fat. Second answer? Well, you see, we really want her to share her dad's star sign, Cancer. So I'm, she's not allowed to come out. I've got her kind of grounded in there so that her and dad will both be cancers. I figure the whole family will get along better that way. We really believe in astrology. It's, it's, it's kind of like our religion. I, if my water breaks, we're just going to like put a cork in it. So if you had any strange craving, you know, pickles and ice cream, sardines and stuff, you know, like any weird ones, potatoes. I have a craving to slap complete strangers that ask me if I have any weird cravings. Are you lactating? Why are you thirsty? Wow, you're seven months pregnant? Bad reaction to a bee sting. Can you feel her kick? N no, 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 no. No, I just jumped right now because my cervix decided to hurt really bad. Similar to being kicked from the inside. But no, no, not my baby. She's a lover, not a fighter. I do realize that the due date is just an idea, right? And I, I, the due date I signed off. I have it on the calendar. I just scratch it off. And and David already signed. David! I, I, I don't know why we bother to sign your off work. Because apparently it's, it's just an arbitrary date given to you based upon gestational period of averages. Whoa! Are you having twins? Why, you want one? This has been a Bee Wings production. I'm smart because I'm... I'm smart. Uh, this video is being interrupted by a Braxton Hick contraction. I'm smart because I'm not dumb. You're not because you are.